Welcome to another edition of On Point, Pacific Classic Edition. We'll also touch on the Alabama, really Phillies and Mares in focus, beholder the favorite in the Pacific Classic, three-year-old Phillies in the Alabama, uh, handicap division in California, some disarray. Do you think it'll shake out in the Pacific Classic, or we have more questions after Saturday? I'm, I'm thinking beholder is going to Gonna, is the horse to beat. I think she's got a great chance of winning, and if she doesn't win, then it could be disarray. Sure, and you actually were planning to play against her with an inside post, but I know you think she's ideally drawn on the outside. Absolutely. I didn't want to see her drawn inside a buy-in. I thought that could have compromised her chances. An inside post was going to be a negative. She does have Midnight Storm to her outside. It has some speed, but I still expect Stevens to get her in a good position, second or third, going into the first turn, and he'll wait till the far turn to ask her. And I think she's going to make her move to the front, and if she can get the last the entire stretch drive, she's the horse to beat, clearly. Yeah, great horse, uh, two-time champion. Uh, to me, there is speed in the race, as you discussed, uh, but I, I don't think it's one of those races where, oh, all this speed on the front end is going to set up for a closer. I am looking more mid-pack, though, than the front end. I went with Red Vine on top. Right. I'm just really interested on how Christoph has brought this horse along. Fifteen career starts before he even saw a stakes race. Uh, a lot of those on turf. Then he was mm -hmm. at Dirt Monmouth and now shipping west. I just have to think he's here for a reason. I mean, that is some tea leaf reading, but I think we're going to get a right price. And his brisk net speed ratings are right there with the best in the group. It's by Candy Ride who won this race at Del Mar when it was dirt. So to me, uh, I think he's just worth a, worth a shot at the price. Yeah, well, he's got two races at Aqueduct on the dirt, one on the inner and two at Monmouth. And, uh, but, but his last three races are either mile or mile 70 yards. Yeah. It's a little bit of a test stepping up and shipping to California for the first time. That's, uh, you know, there's been some horses that have done that, but a lot of those horses to me were a lot more accomplished or had run in a lot of different venues. And, you know, I think he's a little bit, uh, going to be a little bit of an underlay. He could be even the second or third choice in the way wow. during a lot that of buzz. Low, well, there's a, you know, half the field is five to one, six to one, right. you know, so it's going to be Back interesting to, to see, down. you know, how he, but, uh, you know, my, my thought is catch a flight's the horse to beat if, if Beholder falters. Mm -hmm. I like it, you know, he's won three of four, uh, you know, he's trained by Mandela, obviously Mandela, you know, you know, didn't, <laughs> uh, he didn't scare him away from running a Beholder right. in there, so... But, uh, yeah, you know, Bayern's, you know, to me, Bayern's going to be too low of a price. Sure. I was willing to give him a pass for his two, first two races at, at one turn, but his last race in San Diego just was disappointed to see him uh, finish like that in the stretch. And while he is a wire-to-wire -wire threat in a sense, you know, I'm just not going to take a short price on him. No, can't blame me. I actually prefer opportunity of the Baffert pair anyway. Right. And, you know, <laughs> yeah, he's another contender. No surprise, well. uh, you know, for the longer price from the same trainer. Where to win? Uh, Chad Brown seems to have that move on lock recently, especially with the Turf Phillies. But we'll go with Dirt Phillies uh, this week at Saratoga. Travers, of course, next week. The open division for three year olds. We got the Phillies this week. And to me, with Lady Eli on the sidelines, this is a race that could help decide the championship. Kentucky Oaks winner, Lovely Maria, looking for her third grade one win. Uh, Carolina as well uh, put up last time against Lovely Maria's stable mate, um, a chatterbox. Uh, to me, those three are the horses to be. And I went with the longest price on the morning line, Lovely Maria. I think she can rebound off that Delaware Oaks. I'm going to believe the excuse, which you have to if you run it better. You can't better off the Delaware Oaks. But to me, what we saw in the spring beats this group. Well, the, the, the question with Lovely Maria is, you know, she's stretching out the 10 furlongs and she got sick, uh, didn't run, ran six in the Delaware Oaks, so uh, Jones blamed it on a virus. I'm just a little bit wondering about her fitness, whether, you know, majestic perfection, whether she'll get the mile and a quarter. I'm a chatterbox, another one that looks vulnerable to me at the distance. You know, Carolina, I mean, Kerwin's offspring are just thriving this summer. And uh, like you said, she's got a chance to rest control of the three-year-old Philly division on dirt. I still think even if she wins and she's going to have a heck of a good chance, she's going to need to uh, beat older uh, females in the fall in order to uh, take the Eclipse Award away from Lady Eli. Because well, I of, disagree I think, with that. I think voters are going to still recognize her for her brilliance. But you didn't mention Include Betty. No, I didn't. Another she's grade got one winner. In the another group. grade one winner. And she was too far back in the uh, Coaching Club American Oaks and uh, with Embellished Lace and Amit chatterbox going at it. I think she could uh, move forward a little bit, might have a little bit of a chance. All right. Yeah, it's a, I mean, a good group. And to me, I, I think if a, a Philly out of this group were to win her third grade one win, I personally could not vote for Lady Eli with one. 
ahead of yeah. them. But you're right. I mean, she was popular. And any time you throw in an illness, I mean, we saw it with Barbara. Right. We've seen it with some other horses. People gravitate toward that and lift right. them up for better or worse. But a long way to the season to go. But the Alabama certainly drew the right three-year-old fillies for the main track. Uh, lovely Marie on top for me. and who are you I'm going to go with Include Betty. All right. Well, we like it. So someone from that Larry Jones, Burton mm -hmm. Jones, <laughs> four or so we think is, is going to win. And we'll find out uh, Saturday night who it is.